my friends welcome back to all of you I want to speak about this as well because um, either we like it or not I don't like it I will be honest with all of you as I always am you know me politics is a sign of a decayed uh, humanity we need politics because we are fallen and politicians if we were to talk about politicians oh <laughs> there is nobody more corrupt more wicked more unjust breaking every law under the sun than politicians it started all uh, maybe it started all with people of israel you know that they were theocracy they had judges they were ruled by god and then the uh, people of Israel said, well, I, we want to be like other nations. Give us rulers. Give us rulers. Give us kings. God told them, but they will rule over you. They will have absolute power. There's no king and queens. and uh, There are in some parts, but they are not what they used to be hundreds upon hundreds of years ago. We have this uh, modern king and queens. I call them this way because as well they uh, they seem to not uh, be a part of uh, what's happening in this world in what way two tier justice system many times we see they have power they have influence we are struggling hard day and night we work and work and work we are taxed to death while they they have per for uh, the gift that they have to talk and talk and talk and lie lie again and again they have perks what perks? we don't pay for anything they have easy life access to the best uh, quality health care um, if they want to go somewhere they go and they do not put their hands deep in their own pockets they put their hands in our pockets they have ways of getting themselves rich and they get richer and richer and richer politicians whether we like it or not it's a part of our life and then comes uh, America why I'm talking about America because America has such a power still such an influence over all the world and then we talk about America and then we we have this situation uh, happened in 2020 as everybody knows there's no point talking now about it Biden regime Harris America plunging into darkness deep darkness chaos and war all over the world Christians being persecuted for the <sighs> their actions in caring for the unborn sent to jail for years and years just because they were praying in front of the abortion facilities uh, pro-life uh, catholic leaders uh, facing the wrath and persecution of the government parents being called uh, uh, domestic terrorists because they were standing against the woke agenda that the government has in uh, American public school system uh, DOJ coming after their political opponents corruption upon corruption FBI's oh what's happening in America America became a banana republic media lying trying to brainwash and manipulate people uh, media being uh, in the pockets of the Democrat Party speaking out loud the talking points of the liberal elite uh, Hollywood as well pushing the liberal elite darkness and sin uh, becoming more and more uh, common in America the quality of life collapsing like never before um, prices exploding literally overnight many times 
instability all over the world uh, Israel getting attacked Israel attacking Palestine many innocents dying there in the process <sighs> Ukraine and Russia instead of peace war and again people suffering dying reshaping the world view uh, the powers w once upon a time used to be a different geopolitical map now everything is changing all that is our daily reality and now comes the elections and on this channel I said many times there is no such a thing as perfect candidate but c comes to my mind someone thousands of years ago that God used he was far from perfect he was godless Nebuchadnezzar do you remember Nebuchadnezzar how God used Nebuchadnezzar in such a way that they end up even making a temple there in captivity our Nebuchadnezzar now Donald Trump if everybody hates him if the media spews hatred about him again and again if over 90% of the coverage that speaks about him and his presidency is hateful and filled with rage and vitriol uh, then us that we are open-minded we realize that there is something that happening if from every single direction there are attacks against him that, that means uh, maybe he does something right that's why everybody attacks him <laughs> makes sense isn't it now we have this uh, video footage that I want to show to you someone that became a champion of free speech Elon Musk he bought Twitter he didn't buy Twitter uh, in order to make a gain on the contrary he lost many many dollars that let me put it this way he lost more but for him it was not money at all okay it was freedom of speech and the possibility to have a platform uh, that uh, doesn't sense uh, freedom of speech he has Twitter X and the truth can be said without any censorship and he went all the way to Butler Pennsylvania the same place where uh, not a long time ago uh, someone tried to make uh, to uh, let, let's put it this way to analyze Donald Trump and God said, no, 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 I have something to do with this man, uh, as imperfect as he is. Nobody thinks that he is a mega Christian. He is sympathetic to Christians for sure. He has, he had and he still has the same ideas that Christians should be uh, promoted, that they should be prioritary. Uh, let's bring Christ back in America. He said, no one... Uh, things that Donald Trump is a Christian but I will tell you loud and clear from this channel I said it and I'm not ashamed to say it and if I lose subscribers so be it there is no other choice to vote if you want to vote and if you are a Christian you will vote Donald Trump and JD Vance not to mention that JD is a Catholic and he's very proud about his faith if you think about voting the most uh, uh, anti-God, anti-unborn, anti-decency, anti-America candidate in the history of United States, Kamala. If you think that she is the choice, then you have nothing to do with God. I will tell you now, loud and clear. Uh, I'm not gonna mince words here. Uh, you cannot have a relationship with Jesus and want to vote for someone uh, that has this evil agenda in mind. So uh, that's what you're going to see in this video. Elon Musk promoting, speaking about Donald Trump all the way in Butler, Pennsylvania. Donald went back there and it was a mega success. The Democrats are shaking in their boots because they know this time uh, they cannot uh, 
into some game there <laughs> if you know what I mean this time is gonna be in landslide 5th of November is banging at the door and we're gonna see many things happening I am confident that this time America will be exactly the way it has to be Donald Trump will be president and we're not gonna plunge in darkness in World War 3 in uh, economical crash in depression in total darkness no it will come a time in which God uh, will say okay time out let's give to America and to the world another at least four years and maybe people will realize once again first how close they were to utter destruction and second how much they need Jesus and if Trump is sincere and he will prioritize Jesus and he will speak about Jesus and he will promote Jesus in American society uh, and he will promote family and traditional values in American society and God will bless America and maybe God even will change his mind like he did many times in the past because uh, changing his mind about punishing America because God doesn't want death of the sinner he wants uh, the sinner to repent and live God doesn't want the destruction of America. He wants America to repent and live. And then America to be a strong, powerful example of what Jesus can do when a nation repents and comes to Christ. Wouldn't that be something else? Let's take a look at our man, Elon Musk. His uh, entrance, him speaking about Trump. Him being himself, the one and only Elon Musk, my friends. Three, two, one, go. North Carolina, for Georgia, for Alabama, for Florida, for Tennessee. His name is Elon Musk. He saved free speech. He created so many different great things. Where, did, where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations, and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Come here. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over. Hi, everyone. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. Um, well, first of all, I, I want to say what an honor it is to, to be here. And, uh, you know, the, the, the true test of someone's character is how they behave under fire. And we, we, we had one president who couldn't climb a flight of stairs, and another who was fist pumping after getting shot. <laughs> Fight, fight, fight! Blood coming down the face. Now, America is the home of the brave. And there's no true, there's no truer test than courage under fire. So that, who do you want representing America? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I, th I think this, this, this election, I think it's the most important election of our lifetime. This is, this is no ordinary election. Uh, the other side wants to take away your freedom of speech. They want to take away your right to bear arms. They, they, want, to, it's, we're, we're, they want to take away your right to vote effectively. You've got 14 states now that, that don't require voter ID. Calif California where I used to live, um, is just, just passed a law banning voter ID for voting. How, I, I still can't believe that's real. So how are you supposed to have a good, a pro proper election if there's no ID? It's just meaningless. And, 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 and free speech, free speech is the bedrock of democracy. And, 
If, if people don't know what's, what's going on, if they don't know the truth, how can, you, how can you make an informed vote? You must have free speech in order to have democracy. That's why it's the First Amendment. And the, and the, and the Second Amendment is there to ensure that we have the First Amendment. <laughs> President Trump must win to preserve the Constitution. He must win to preserve democracy in America. Yes. It, this, this, is, this is a must win situation. Must win. So I have, I have one, one ask for everyone in the audience, everyone who watches this video, any, any, everyone on the live stream. There's, there's one request, it's very important. Register to vote. Okay? And, and get everyone you know, and e everyone you don't know, <laughs> drag them to register to vote. There's only two days left to register to vote in Georgia and Arizona, 48 hours. Like, text people now. <laughs> now. Oh, and then make sure they actually do vote. If they don't, this will be the last election. That's my prediction. Nothing's more important. Nothing's more important. Um, so, Get everyone you know. Everyone, so I'm speaking to people out there. Everyone in the crowd, I think, is already convinced. Uh, but uh, for people out there that are watching the video, watching the live stream, you need to get everyone you know every, at, at work, your friends, family, tech, text groups, your social media, everything. Get them to register to vote right now. Only two days left for Georgia and Arizona. Only a couple weeks left in Pennsylvania. And, and if, if they're not registered to vote, it doesn't matter at that point. Registered to vote. I'm being repetitive for a reason, okay? So, nothing is more important. Um, and a lot of people think maybe their vote doesn't count. Well, it does, okay? It does. It matters. And this election could be decided by a thousand votes, 500 votes, it could, it, a tiny margin. So, get everyone you know to register to vote. I believe that's swap, swapthevote.com. I believe that's the, the site. If you, and double check that, you, that your registration is good. Don't take it for granted. Um, I'm just being repetitive about this point because it, it is the one takeaway, more than anything, that will matter is getting those registrations and then, and then getting everyone you know to actually vote. That is what will decide this election, especially in Pennsylvania. So... So, so, so thank you, and, and, and honestly, you, 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 you want to just be a pest. Just <laughs> be a pest to everyone you know, people on the street, everywhere. Vote, vote, vote. Fight, fight, fight. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you. What a great guy. And he'd rather be making rocket ships, because he'd really rather do that. <laughs> Nobody better. I think he's got 90 percent of the rockets that go up. But, uh, Elon, thank you very much. Incredible. Incredible. What he says is true. What he says is true. That was our man, <laughs> Elon Musk. Let's pray for Elon. Let's pray for Trump. Let's pray for everyone. G Day. GD events and everyone that is in this enterprise trying to make a difference and when you are under fire I think this is a confirmation of the fact that you are genuine in what you do nobody will shoot at you nobody will attack you if what you do uh, it's not genuine that's my comment but that's my take on this
May God have mercy on all of us. May God have mercy on America. May God have mercy. We need His mercy so much, friends. Thank you so much. God bless you.